In this video, we will create the network for our first prototype in Mavis Lab. The resulting application shall be able to load DICOM data. We are using a local image module and select the file probe NT1. The loaded images shall be shown in 2D. Add a view 2D module and connect it to your local image module. We now already have a working 2D viewer to interact with the loaded files. The 2D viewer shall provide the possibility to segment parts of the image based on a region growing algorithm. Add ASO view 2D marker editor, ASO view 2D overlay in a region growing module and connect them as seen in the video. Configure the region growing module to use a 3D6 neighborhood relation and an automatic threshold value of 1.5. Also select auto update. Set so view 2 d marker editor to allow only one marker by defining max size as 1 and overflow mode as remove all. For our application we only want one marker to be set for defining the region growing. If you now click into your loaded image by a left mouse button, the region growing module segments all neighborhood pixels with a mean intensity value plus minus the defined percentage value from your marker position. It shall be possible to define a threshold for the region growing algorithm. This functionality is already provided by the region growing module, you can move the slider and define a threshold. The 2D viewer shall display the segmentation results as a semi-transparent overlay and it shall be possible to define the color of the overlay. Open the SoView 2D overlay module, change blend mode to blend and select any color and alpha factor for your overlay. The changes are applied automatically in the viewer. The segmented results from the region growing module might contain some holes because of differences in the intensity value of neighboring pixels. You can close those holes by using a close gap module. Connect it between the region growing and the SoView 2D overlay and configure filter mode as binary dilatation, border handling as pad DST fill and set kernel Z to 3. The holes are closed now. In the end we want to calculate the volume of the segmented parts. Add a calculate volume module to the close gap. The 2D viewer now provides the basic functionalities. For a better overview, you should select all modules except the local image and select grouping, add to new group. Name the group 2D viewer. An additional 3D viewer shall visualize your loaded image in 3D and additionally provide the possibility to render your segmentation results. Add ASO Examiner Viewer, ASO WEM Renderer and an ISO surface to your existing network and connect it to the local image. Configure the ISO surface to use an ISO value of 200, a resolution of 1 and check Auto Update and Auto Apply. The result should be a three-dimensional rendering of your image. Define the field instance names of your ISO surface module as ISO surface image and of the SOWEM renderer to SOWEM renderer image. Add another ISO surface and SOWEM renderer module to your network. Set ISO value to 420, a resolution of 1 and check auto update and auto apply and connect the module to the output of the closed gap module from the image segmentation. The output inspector shows the 3D segmentation. Once again, we should group the modules used for 3D viewing and name the new group 3D viewer. We now want to allow the user to toggle the different 3D visualizations. It shall be possible to show original data, segmentation or both. Add ASO switch to your network. Connect the switch to both of your SOM renderer and to the SO examiner viewer. The default input of the switch is none. Your 3D viewer remains black. Using the arrows on the SO switch allows you to toggle between the segmentation and the image. Input 0 shows the segmented brain, input 1 shows the head. You are now able to toggle between them. A view with both objects is still missing. Add a SO group and connect both SO WEM renderer as input. The output needs to be connected to the right input of the SO switch. You can now also toggle input 2 of the switch showing both 3D objects. The only problem is, you cannot see the brain because it is located inside the head. Open the SOWEM renderer image panel and set face alpha value to 0.5. The viewer now shows the head semi-transparent and you can see the brain inside. 
transparencies are difficult to render. You need to add a so depth peel renderer and connect it to the semi-transparent so -em renderer image. Set layers of the renderer to one. You have a 2D and a 3D viewer now. In the end, we want to define the colors of the overlay to be reused for the 3D segmentation. Open the panels of the SoView 2D overlay in the SoWEM renderer segmentation. Draw a parameter connection from SoView 2D overlay base color to SoWEM renderer segmentation face diffuse color. Now the 3D visualization uses the same color as the 2D overlay. Change it to test the functionality. The next step is to create a macro module from our prototype network. For further information, Please have a look at www.mevislab.de.